Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Lizzie and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this seedling sweater. If you would like the written pattern, it's linked below in my bio. So I'm showing you two options here that I created. One was with weight two yarn, that's a beige one, and the other one was with weight three yarn. You could see a little difference, like the white one is a bit bulkier and the beige one is a little more flowy. I personally prefer the beige because of how flowy it is. And yeah, this is just to give you an idea of what it would look like with the different types of yarn. So let's get into it. You will need yarn of your choice. I'm using with three cotton yarn. You will need some stitch markers, a scissors, a measuring tape, a three millimeter crochet hook, and a darning needle. Okay, so I'm trying to make it a little easy for you all by writing this out for you. So as I said before, the hook size we're gonna be using is a three millimeter hook, which I have right here. And the yarn size would preferably be weight 2 or weight 3 yarn. And you could use any yarn of your choice, but I prefer to use a cotton mixed yarn just because of the weather here. So yeah, let's get into it. So for the front panel, we're going to need to get our measurement first in order to make a chain, chain of multiple of 31 plus 3. So this is the front panel. We're going to be working on this first. So let's get the measurements. The measurement is that you measure from shoulder to shoulder across your chest, across the fullest part of your chest. Take that measurement down and take note of it. I have mine here, example, 18 inches. So you write that down and then you begin to chain. And what we're looking for here is a multiple of 31 plus 3. I wrote out some multiples here, which are 62, 93, 124, 155, 186, 217, 248. These are just numbers that can be divided by 31. Right? So first you can start with making 62 chains. And then you can go on to 93 and then measure until you reach your measurement. If your chain is a little shorter than the measurement, then you have to go on to the next number, the next one. So I went with 93. Mine was a little shorter than 93 with 18 inches for my chains. So I went with 93 because I wanted this to have a little space. So you're going to choose a multiple that is the closest to and or greater than your measurement. And don't forget to add the three chains to it because it's a multiple of 31 plus 3. I suggest to take a snapshot of this going forward just so you have your measurements and this will help you along the way in the following steps. Okay, so what I have here is my chain. I've chained 93 for my size of 18 inches so as you can see 18 inches is about here but if i go lower than that let's say i have to go with 62 stitches my piece might be too small for me so i go with the next one above which is 93 so it's just a little more but you also have to keep in mind that once we create this, it starts to make a wave as you continue your rows. So it kind of shrinks. So don't stretch this yarn when you're measuring. Keep it as loose as you can. And yeah, so we're starting from the bottom. Go up. So we're starting from here and each row you get more, more until we reach the top. Okay, so let's get into it. So I did my 93 stitches which is 93 is a multiple of 31 now we have to add the three if you chose any of these make sure you add the three at three stitches at the end so i left that out so we're going to chain three more one two three 
Okay, so for row one, we're going to make a single crochet row. And all we need to do from here, from your three stitches, is go into the next stitch. Not this one, but this one. And start making your single crochets. Just like that. And go all the way until you reach the end. And I'll meet you back. Okay, so I've reached the very end. And don't forget to make a single crochet into that very last stitch. So we just finished our first row, which is a single crochet row. Now we're going to go on to row 2. And for row 2, we're going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This counts as a double crochet. So we're going to turn our work now. Now we're going to double crochet two times into the next stitch. So yarn over, double crochet two times into the next stitch, which is this one. Not this one because we have our first double crochet, which is a chain three stitch. So double crochet two times into this stitch. One double crochet. Two double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet two more times into the next stitch. One double crochet. Two double crochet. Now we're going to chain two and double crochet three together into the next three stitches. So chain two. And we're going to double crochet three together. And to do this, we yarn over, push your hook into the next stitch, make like a half double crochet, like you're going to make a double crochet, but leave these two loops on the hook. Now we're going to go into the next stitch, make another one, next stitch, make another one. So this is double crochet three together, yarn over and pull through all those loops. Now we're going to chain three, skip five stitches, chain three, one, two and three, skip five stitches. So we're going to count one, two, three, four and five. Okay, so I've placed a stitch marker into the sixth stitch just so that I don't lose my spot and into that sixth stitch we're gonna make three double crochet cluster chain two three double crochet cluster all into that one stitch here to make a three double crochet cluster do like you're gonna make a double crochet but don't finish it make another one one two and three this is the third one and now we close it off to make a three double crochet cluster. Now we're going to chain two, one, two. Now make another three, dip, three double crochet cluster all into that one spot. Just like that. Now we're going to chain five, skip four stitches and double crochet into the next. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, double crochet into the next. Now we're going to chain five again and skip four stitches. One, two, three, four, five, skip four stitches. One, two, three, four, and into the fifth stitch, we're going to make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster, just like before here. Now we're going to chain three, skip five stitches. One, two, and three. We're going to skip five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And into the next stitch, keep my finger there, we're going to double crochet three together into the next three stitches. So to do so, double crochet, don't finish it. And into the next stitch, make another one, like so. 
and then make the third one and finish it off. And now we're going to chain two, one, two. All right, make two double crochets into the next stitch. Now we're going to make two more double crochets into the next stitch. One and two. Now we're going to chain two. So now that we reached here, after we finished our last two double crochets and chain two, we're going to look at the very start and we're going to repeat from here, from the next two double crochets into the next stitch, two double crochets into the next stitch, chain two and make a three double crochet together into the next one, two, three stitches. We're going to start over here to repeat all of this again. So this exactly is what we're repeating all on this side. So after we've chained this two, we're going to make another two double crochets into the very next stitch. And now we're going to make two more double crochets into the next stitch. And now we're going to look back at what we did before. Now we're going to chain two, make three double crochets together into the next three stitches. So we're going to chain two, three double crochets to, together into the next three stitches. Now look back. Now we're going to chain three and skip five stitches and into the fifth stitch we're going to make three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster. So we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Skip one, two, three, four, five and into the sixth stitch we're going to make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster. Now look back. So now we're going to chain five, skip four stitches and into the fifth stitch we're going to make a double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, skip four, one, two, three, four and into the fifth we're going to make a double crochet. Chain five, just like over here, chain five, skip four stitches again and into the fifth we're going to make three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we just repeated up to here. Now we just have this little piece to repeat until we have to start all over again until we reach this end of this chain two. Until we repeat from here the two double crochets. We're gonna chain three and skip one, two, three, four, five stitches. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip one, two, three, four, five and into the sixth stitch. And into the sixth stitch, we're going to double crochet three together into the next three stitches. So let's do that over here. Double crochet three together. Just like this. And now we're going to chain two. Chain two. And make two double crochet into the next stitch, two double crochet into the next stitch, and chain two. And from here, we start all over again to repeat. Repeat from two double crochets into the next stitch, two double crochets into the next stitch. Two double crochets into this stitch, two double crochets into this stitch. And we continue to repeat again and again until we reach the very end. Okay, I'll meet you back once we reach the end. Okay, so now that we reach the very end, 
we're going to see that we created our last two double crochets into one stitch two double crochets into the next stitch normally we would make a chain two but since this is the very end we just make a double crochet into the very last stitch just like the beginning so how we had a uh, chain three as a double crochet so we're mirroring exactly what's on this side to this side okay so as you can see the your work would be starting to warp a little bit like curve just leave it let it do its thing and let's get on to row three okay so we're gonna chain five one two three four five turn your work this counts as a double crochet and a chain two now we're going to double crochet into the next four stitches not this one because this already has your chain three which is a double crochet on top of it so we're going to double crochet into the next four stitches Okay, next we're going to chain three and make a three double crochet cluster. One, two, three. Skip all this and make a three double crochet cluster into this one from below. Three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster, all into this space. Now we're going to chain four. And three double crochets into the next double crochet. Now we're going to chain four and make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into this chain two space. Now we're going to chain three and double crochet into the next four stitches. Skip all this and double crochet into these four stitches. One, two, three, four. All right. Now we're going to chain two, one and two. And we're going to double crochet into the chain two space, into this space right here. Now we're gonna chain two, stop and take a look at the work. So we made a chain two at the beginning here. So we're repeating from here. So from this double crochet, one, two, three, four double crochets, we're gonna repeat all of this until we reach this chain two again on this side okay so the next step would be to make four double crochets into the next four stitches which would be one two three four and you continue to repeat what's on this side all the way to the end okay okay so this is the end of row three and this is what it should look like now we reach the very end. I left the very last stitch so you can see what to do. So we made our last two chains and we're gonna make a double crochet into that chain three, the top of the chain three stitch, double crochet. So this mirrors the very beginning of this row, right? Just like that. So this is chain three and two chains counts as a double crochet and now we have two chains and a double crochet at the very end so now we're gonna go on to row four okay so we're gonna chain three one two three turn your work this counts as a double crochet double crochet into the very same stitch which is this one and now we're going to chain two and double crochet four together. 
into these one, two, three, four double crochets from the row below. So we're gonna go like we're gonna double crochet, but don't finish it. Do another one into the next double crochet, third double crochet, and fourth double crochet. And double crochet all four of these together. Just like that to close off this stitch. Now we're gonna chain three. One, two, three and make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into this one from below. And you can kind of see that this is a, a leaf right here that we just finished off. Now we're gonna chain three and make three double crochets into the next double crochet stitch. So all into this one stitch. Now we're gonna chain one and double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're gonna chain one again and make three double crochets into the next stitch. So this will be the start of some of our seeds, seedling leaves. Like just like how this is here, it's going to have one here and one here as we go along to the following rows. So now we're going to chain three and make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into that one from below. We're going to chain three. We're going to double crochet four together into these four double crochets from below. Four all together. And we're going to double crochet three times into the next double crochet stitch, which is this one here. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to repeat from the very beginning. So after this chain two, we're going to make four double crochets together, double crochet four together, just like here and here into this stitch. And then we're going to chain three, make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into this stitch. And then we're going to chain three double crochet three into the next stitch, chain one, double crochet into the middle stitch, chain one, three double crochets into the next stitch, chain three, make a three double crochet cluster here, then we're going to chain three and double crochet four together, chain two and make three double crochets into this one double crochet. And continue just like that all the way to the end and I'll meet you back okay at the end of row 4 this is what it's gonna look like I reached this chain 2 and from this chain 2 at the end we're gonna mirror the beginning which is two double crochets into that one double crochet so to do so we're gonna count one two and three because this three chains counts as a double crochet and these are two chains so we're gonna double crochet two times into the top of this chain All right so this mirrors the opposite side now let's go on to row five we're gonna chain three one two three this counts as a double crochet turn your work and we're going to double crochet into the same stitch. We're going to chain four and make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into this one from below. We're going to skip all this and start. 
chain three okay so now we're gonna make two double crochets into the next double crochet which is right here now we're gonna double crochet into the next double crochet one double crochet and then two double crochets into the next one and now we're gonna chain two and three double crochets into the next double crochet now we're gonna chain two two double crochets into the next double crochet and now we're gonna double crochet and then two double crochets into the next one now we're gonna chain three one two three and make a three double crochet cluster chain two three double crochet cluster into the one below now we're going to chain four and we're going to double crochet into the next double crochet which is this one double crochet into the next double crochet then two into the next one and then one into the next one now we're going to repeat from the beginning so we're going to start from here chain four and then make three double crochet cluster chain two three double crochet cluster into this stitch here so i'll meet you back once we reach the end after you repeat all this on this side okay and i'll meet you back okay so now that we reach the end this is what it should look like i just finished my last chain four but at the very end we're gonna mirror the beginning of the row so at the beginning we have two double crochets into the first stitch so we're gonna make two double crochets into the last stitch not this one but this one the, the top of the chain three you could see the waves forming just like this okay so now on to row six we're gonna chain three one two three this counts as a double crochet turn your work chain four one two three four and we're gonna make a three double crochet cluster chain two three double crochet cluster into this one this chain two spot from below Now we're going to chain three one two three so we're going to double crochet two together one double crochet two double crochet just like this so that it makes it into one stitch and now we're going to double crochet once into the next stitch now we're going to make Double crochet two together. So now it looks like one, two, three stitches. Now we're going to chain two. Two double crochets into the next stitch, which is this one. Double crochet into the next double crochet. And now two double crochets into the next double crochet now we're going to chain two and make a two double crochets together into the next two stitches just like over here double crochet into the next double crochet and now double crochet two stitches together into the next two stitches so we're kind of making this into a leaf so it starts to go wide here and then it starts to go back in 
and end like this. Now we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Now we're gonna make a three double crochet cluster into the next chain two space. Now we're gonna chain four. We're gonna double crochet four together into the next four stitches. Just like that. See this, this kind of looks like a leaf. It closed up there. Now we're gonna chain four. Because we're starting from the very beginning again. Just like before. But we just reached the chain four. So now we're gonna make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into this stitch and continue just like this. Look back at your work and continue doing the same thing on top here until we reach the very end of the row. And I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so now that we reached the end, I just finished my last four chains. And now we're gonna mirror the beginning, which is a double crochet into the first stitch and four chains. So I just did the four chains and now we're gonna double crochet into the very last stitch, which is the top of the chain three, just like that. And this is what it should look like. Okay, so we're gonna move on to row seven. We're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. This counts as a double crochet and you turn your work. Now we're gonna chain five. So this counts as a double crochet and chain five. Now we're gonna make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into the chain two space from the row below. Now we're gonna chain three. We're gonna double crochet three together into these next three double crochets. And close them all off to make them into one stitch. So we finish off this leaf here. Now we're gonna chain two, one and two. And we're gonna make two double crochets into the next double crochet. We're going to do that again, two double crochets into the next double crochet. Now we're going to chain two, skip one double crochet, skip this one, and now we're going to make two double crochets into the next double crochet. And we're going to do that again, two double crochets into the next double crochet. Now we're going to chain two, and double crochet three together into the next three stitches just like before and now we're gonna chain three one two three i'm gonna make three double crochet cluster chain two three double crochet cluster into the next chain two space now we're gonna chain five and we're gonna double crochet once into the top of this leaf right here and i just like to do it like this because it looks more like if it's right in the middle of the stitch instead of making a double crochet here it kind of looks like it's off to the side it's not like in the middle so to make it look like it's in the middle I like to make the double crochet like this so you push your hook through the first hole and then pull this up a little bit and push it through underneath like this grab the yarn and make your double crochet so that it looks like it's more on top of the stitch in the middle so that's what you call a front post double crochet and now we're gonna make chain five so we reached right here. So we just did a chain five. 
the last chain five here and now we're going to make three double crochet cluster chain two three double crochet cluster over here and then we're going to repeat this over here this over here and so on and so forth so i'll meet you back once we finish this repeat all the way to the end okay so at the very end i just did my last five chains and now we're gonna count so we're gonna mirror the beginning of the row so at the beginning we did chain three which counts as a double crochet and chain five so we did our chain five already now we have to do our double crochet at the end so we're gonna count one two three because this three counts as a double crochet as well so we're gonna make a double crochet into that third chain just like that this is what it should look like now we're gonna go on to row eight we're gonna chain three this counts as a double crochet turn your work and we're gonna double crochet into the same stitch and now we're gonna chain four and make a three double crochet cluster chain two three double crochet cluster into this chain two space now we're going to chain three and double crochet into the next four double crochets one two three skip all this and double crochet into the next four double crochets Now we're going to chain two and double crochet into the chain two space. Now we're going to chain two and double crochet into the next four double crochets. Now we're going to chain three and make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into this chain two space. Now we're going to chain four and double crochet three times into the next double crochet. Okay, so we've reached the repeats. So we're going to start from here again. We're going to chain four and make a three double crochet cluster right over here and so on and so forth. So you repeat until you reach the end. And I'll meet you back. We reached the very end and I just did my last chain four. Now we're going to take a look at the beginning of the row and we have two double crochets then a chain four. So we're going to double crochet two times into the last stitch. So we're going to count one, two and three because these three chains count as a double crochet and we're going to double crochet two times into that stitch okay so we're gonna go on to row nine and we're gonna chain four one two three four this counts as a double crochet and a chain one now we're gonna turn the work and we're gonna make three double crochets into the next double crochet which is this one We're going to chain three and make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into the next chain two space. So chain three. And now we're going to chain three and double crochet four together in the next four stitches. These four. One, two, three, four. And then close it off so we just closed off our leaf and now we're going to chain two and make three double crochets one two make three double crochets into the next double crochet which is this one now we're going to chain two and double crochet four together into the next four stitches one two three four
and dissolve just like that. Now we're going to chain three and make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into the next chain two space. And now we're going to chain three, three double crochets into the next double crochet. Chain one and double crochet into the next double crochet. One and now we're going to chain one and make three double crochets into the next double crochet. And this is where our repeat of the row begins. So we're going to take a look and we see that we did three double crochets here into one stitch and we just did that over here and now we're going to chain three and make three double crochet cluster chain two three double crochet cluster over here and so on and so forth until we reach the very end of the row and i'll meet you back okay we reached the very end and i just made my three double crochets into one stitch and we're going to mirror the beginning of the row so there's double crochet chain one and three double crochets into one stitch so we did the three double crochets into one stitch already and now we chain one and double crochet into the very last stitch now we're moving on to row 10 and for row 10 we're going to chain three one, two, three, this counts as a double crochet. And you're gonna turn your work and we're gonna double crochet into the same stitch. Just this one. And we're gonna chain two and make two double crochets into the next double crochet. And we're going to double crochet into the next double crochet and then two double crochets into the next double crochet and now we're going to chain three and make a three double crochet cluster chain two three double crochet cluster into the next chain two space now we're going to chain four we're going to skip this And double crochet into the next double crochet and then two double crochets into the next double crochet and then double crochet into the next double crochet now we're going to chain four and we're going to make three double crochet cluster chain two three double crochet cluster into the next chain two space and now we're going to chain three and two double crochets into the next double crochet and then double crochet into the next double crochet and then two double crochets into the next double crochet then we're going to chain two one two and make three double crochets into the next double crochet. This one. Now we're gonna chain two, one and two. Now we're gonna take a look at the work. And we've just reached here. We just made our chain two. And we're gonna start again from here to repeat. So we're gonna make two double crochets into this stitch this first double crochet then we're going to make one double crochet into the middle one two double crochets into the next and so on and so forth until we reach the very end and i'll meet you back just finished chain two but we're going to take a look at the beginning of the row so that's two double crochets then the chain two so we're going to make we just did the chain two and then we're going to double crochet two times into the last stitch so we're going to count one two and three and into that third stitch we're going to make two double crochets 
and leave this one because this is a chain from below. Leave that chain alone. Now we're going to go on to row 11. We're going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This counts as a double crochet. And turn your work. Now we're going to make two double crochets into the next stitch, which is this one. Chain 2, 1 and 2. And double crochet 2 together into the next two stitches, 1 and 2. One and two. Now we're going to double crochet into the next stitch once and then double crochet two together into these next two stitches. Now we're going to chain three and make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into the next chain two space. So now we're going to chain four. And double crochet four together into the next four double crochets. All together to finish off this leaf. Now we're going to chain four again and make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into the next chain two space. Now we're going to chain three, make two double crochets together into the next two double crochets. Two double crochets together. And then one double crochet into the next double crochet. And then two double crochets together into the next two double crochets. Now we're going to chain two, one and two, make two double crochets into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And then the double crochet two into this last stitch. And then chain two. And yeah, we repeat all this until the very end of the row and i'll meet you back okay so we've reached the very end and i just did my last two double crochets and we're going to take a look at the beginning and we have a double crochet at the beginning then the two double crochets so we're going to make a double crochet into that last stitch which is this one just so that we can mirror the beginning of the row Row 12. We're going to chain 3, 1, 2, and 3. This counts as a double crochet. Turn the work and we're going to make two double crochets into the next stitch, which is this one. And then two more double crochets into the next stitch. Now we're going to chain 2, 1, and 2. And double crochet three together into the next three double crochets. One, two, three. Now we're going to chain three and make a three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster into the next chain two space. Now we're going to chain five and double crochet into the next stitch which would be here so remember what i told you before we're gonna make a front post double crochet like this and double crochet once just so that it's in the middle and now we're going to chain five and make a three double crochet cluster chain two three double crochet cluster into the next chain two space. And now we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet three together into the next three stitches here. Close it off. And now we're gonna chain two, one, two. 
two double crochets into the next double crochet, two double crochets into the next double crochet, chain two, one, two, skip one, and then we're going to double crochet two times into the next stitch, double crochet two times into the next stitch again, chain two, one, two, and now we're going to take a look at the work. Okay, so we just reached the chain two, which is right here. We just finished this, so we're going to repeat from here and move on and repeat all the way to the end, and I'll meet you back. Okay, so we reached the very end, and we're going to make sure to mirror the beginning to the end. So we have one double crochet, then two double crochets, two double crochets. So we did the two and two already, and now we're going to make the last double crochet into the last stitch. And that's the end of row 12. This is what your work should look like. Okay, so we're going to talk for a little bit so that you can understand what we're going to be repeating now. So we just did 12 rows, and the first two rows were a single crochet row and the foundation on top of the single crochets. So we're not going to look at these two, but the second row essentially is the same as the 12th row but because it's on the single crochet row it's a little it's worded a little differently so we're going to take account for the 12th row and i put a stitch marker on the third row and the 12th row so we're going to be repeating from row 3 to 12. so the next row would be a repeat of row 3 up here and then we'll do row 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And repeat these rows over and over until you reach the length that you would like. And we're going to stop when we reach right here. So you're going to put your work to your chest and where it reaches above your chest, where you would like it to sit, that's where you're going to stop. And then we'll work on the the top part here this little section to make your little what do you call that your neckline line around your neck yeah so continue rows 3 to 12 until you reach your desired length and i'll meet you back okay so this is what it should look like after you finished your rows to your preferred length I decided to do the repeats around two times and it came up to around 11 inches okay so this is where it should reach around here at this point and I like the length at this point it's not too long it's not too long and it's not too short and I like that it's going to be a tad bit oversized and has a little room for me inside. So yeah, this is where we're going to stop now. And I, I also decided to stop where, I don't know how to explain this properly, but once I look at the middle, once I look at the middle here, I decided to stop where this leaf this motif of this leaf stops so i stopped right here instead of stopping maybe like halfway through like here just so that i could get these two leaves right in the middle of my sweater this is optional you can you can definitely stop at any row you would like but this is just how i liked it and i how i wanted it to look so now we're going to move on to the straps so we're going to have to make some straps here and they're going to be another like rectangular shape so it shouldn't be too hard so let's let's move on with it okay so this part is where your stitch markers are going to come in handy so you're going to grab your stitch markers make sure your work is facing 
upwards because remember we work from the bottom with this single crochet row we work from the bottom up so make sure your work is facing this way and now we're gonna put stitch markers along this top edge to mark off where we would like our stitch markers okay so grab your stitch markers you're just gonna need four okay so we're gonna take our four stitch markers i place one here and one on this edge two so far and now we're gonna place the other two okay so we're gonna place our work across our chest like this hold it up to your chest of where you would like your your straps to start what i want you to take note of is that we're going to be placing our our stitch markers in the middle of these leaf patterns it's very important to place it in the middle so that we can create the following rows easily because one if we don't put it in the middle then it'll be a little harder for us to repeat our rows in the next steps so here is the middle this is just another example of the middle so around here and then here is another middle part so i'm gonna put my stitch markers right here and right here because these are the middle of the leaf pattern one here and another one right here or i could have put it here and here it's just another example yeah okay so from here we're going to be creating the same rows in the same order from where we ended off and we're going to start on this edge where we ended off with our yarn and then we're going to stop at this point this first stitch marker and then we're going to chain three and then do our return our work and do the same thing over and over and over until we've reached our desired length for our straps and yeah okay so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna continue our rows but the difference is we're gonna end our row at this point instead of all the way over here so we're gonna be creating like a little rectangle like this like this so i place my stitch markers on the next row that i will have to make so i just did this row with the one two three four five double crochets at the beginning which is this row with the one two three four five double crochets at the beginning so i just created that row up here this one and this one is the same so my next row would be where this stitch marker is so you're going to need your stitch markers to place it on the following row so that you don't lose where you are then you get your another stitch marker and you're going to place it where we're going to end off at the middle of this leaf motif so this is what i'll be creating in the following row up here and then i'm going to end off at this double crochet if you were let's say on the fall you were going to do it in this row for the first first row of the straps you would end off on one two double crochets and don't include this one because we want to make this as straight as possible so we're gonna end off with two double crochets as shown here if you were on this row then you would end off with the same two double crochets just like this if you were on this row you would end off on two double crochets together in one stitch double crochet two together if you are on this row you end off on one double crochet if you were on this row you end off with one two double crochets if you were in this row you end off with this one double crochet and so on and so forth if you were on this row you end off with one two double crochets and this middle one so we always do the middle stitch so always end off 
on a stitch that's in the middle so don't go past these stitches okay I just did my first chain three and I'm gonna do two more chains one and two because this is what I have here chain three and then chain two and then four double crochets into the next four stitches one two three and four and I'm gonna continue my row just as before just I just as I did before and I'll finish on a double crochet up here okay so continue and I'll meet you back okay so I just finished my last double crochet so I did my last chain four so it's the same as where I ended off it may not be the same for you depending on how your work looks example for example your work might end at this point so if you were to only do this from here to here you would have one double crochet from here and a chain one and then three double crochets into one stitch okay so this is where I ended off and for the next row I'm going to move up my stitch marker to the following row which would be here and place it on the stitch in the middle because that's where we're going to end off so I'm going to end off with I mean I'm going to start off with two double crochets for the following row and then move this stitch marker up once for the next row so I'm going to make two double crochets, then chain two. One, two, three, chain three, and then turn your work. Two double crochets. One, two. So that chain three counts as double crochet. And that's my two double crochets, which is the same as him. And now I'm going to chain two, one and two. And I'm going to follow the stitch pattern from here. So I double crochet four together. And I continue making the next row following the stitch pattern. For your following row, you continue. And then you end off at this point. I'll end off with two double crochets at the end here. So I'll meet you back once I finish. Okay, so I just finished my last two double crochets at the end here, which mirrors, which is the same as these two double crochets at the end here. So we're going to move up our stitch markers again, once more to the following row. And I'm supposed to make two double crochets at the beginning of the row, and then move up this stitch marker once more. It can be, this stitch marker is placed on that side because I turned my work but that's okay and for this row the next row I'm gonna place my stitch marker on this double crochet because we're gonna end off on this one because that's the end of the middle yeah so we're gonna follow this row all the way to here and I'll meet you back once I reach the end okay so I've just finished repeating this row up here from here to here and I just finished off on my last two double crochets so now we're going to take off this stitch marker and put it on the following row in the middle so we're going to end off on this one right here yeah so what we're going to do first at the beginning here is double crochet two together chain two instead of chain three and then double crochet like that so that this looks like double crochet two together just like here and i'm going to continue this row until i reach my last double crochet chain five is that chain five no that's chain four and my last double crochet and you're gonna 
Continue doing these rows until we've reached the length you want your strap to be. So ideally you want your strap to end at the top of your shoulder. We're not going to make our straps go around to our back. We're going to end it off right where the middle at the top of our shoulders. So once I reach there, I'm going to show you what it looks like and where you should end. Okay. Okay. So I ended off on this last row here. I made a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows for my strap so let me show you what this looks like okay so this is what I have so far and I'm gonna place it across my chest like this and this is where I would like my strap to end at the very top of my shoulder in the middle right because we're not gonna go over to the back if you would like it a little higher you could go you could do less rows if you would like it a little lower you could do more rows. We're going to repeat that on this side. So once I've finished with that, I'll meet you back. So at the end, you're going to cut your yarn here. You can finally cut just like this. And we're going to take our yarn and bring it to this side. And we're going to put our yarn here and start from our stitch marker. You can start on either side. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to start here. Just because I started on this side for our first row. So I started off by chaining three and one more chain. And I'm basically looking at this side now. So I don't really have to go down and look at what I did. But this time I'm going to look at what I did on this side. So we're going to take our stitch markers and we're going to mark our first row of our strap and then mark on both sides of each row that we are creating so i'm going to create this first row over here starting from here all the way to the end and then the next row i'll place my stitch marker on the next row and so on and so forth so we repeat and make sure that this little rectangle we created is the same as this rectangle we're creating on this side yeah so i'll meet you back once i'm finished okay so i've just finished the second side as you can see the front panel looks just like that and now we're gonna create the back panel so to create the back panel we're gonna start over again so we're gonna start from the beginning where we started off over here and we're gonna create the amount of chains that we created before this same exact amount of chains so for me it was a 93 chains along with add three chains so this time we're just gonna create the back panel as a simple rectangle okay so what I have here is the back piece so as you can see the back piece is the same length as the front piece but it does not have the neckline in the back piece and start with the same amount of chains that you started with just like how we did here I'll put the timestamp of where I started so that you can go back to those steps so this is our front piece and our back piece and now we're going to connect the front to the back together we're going to put the back like this and then put the front on top of the back don't cut your yarn because we're going to connect the front to the back with that end that we just finished off on the back piece we're going to connect from here to here and then we're going to connect from here to here so to do that, we're going to place our front piece on top of our back piece. Just like this, line it up all together. And now we're going to take these two pieces and slip stitch all along into each and every stitch, connecting them together until we reach here. And then you can cut yeah, yeah. And we're going to do the same thing for here. 
slip stitch connecting these two pieces together okay so i'm gonna place i have my front piece on top of my back piece and i'm gonna connect by using a stitch marker one two three this is the third chain and i'm gonna connect one two three third chain so pull that down there and now we're going to look at where we're going to end our connection so we finished here on chain one and a double crochet so depending on where you finished off you look at the back piece and connect it exactly how the front piece is so i i connect it on the same chain one and double crochet just to hold it in place and just so we know exactly where we need to connect here and same thing on this side yeah i just completed this other side just like that make sure it's lined up together perfectly if you did not cut your yarn you can continue where your yarn ends i'm just turning it around because it's better for me to hold it this way and slip stitch so I'm going to take out this stitch marker because it's a bit in my way and let's make a chain one chain and now to attach these two pieces together what I like to do is go into the back of this chain just one loop of the first chain the back and then for the next side we're going to go into the back of this chain so we're just going to go in here go into here into here grab the loop and slip stitch that just makes the stitch a little less bulky instead of just going through these two loops and then going through these two loops here because it could get a little bulky if you do it that way so the way i like to do it is just to go through the two loops one loop on each side so the two loops that are closest to each other just like this slip stitch slip stitch into the next And into the next one and so on and so forth so you can hold it together like this how I have it I find this easier for me to see better and yeah so I'm grabbing my loop pulling through to slip stitch go through this loop go through this loop slip stitch so you continue just like this just like that until you reach your stitch marker and you do this for both sides to connect them together and it off with a knot okay so this is what it should look like once you've finished your slip stitch and this side would be the wrong side now so we created a wrong side with this since it has a little bit of a bulge okay so you're gonna measure around your shoulder all around all around your shoulder and try not to make it too tight so leave a little wiggle space so that it's not too tight and take that measurement mine is about 15 and for the sleeves we're gonna do the same exact thing as we did before with the beginning the front panel so for the sleeves we're gonna make we're gonna chain a multiple of 31 plus 3 and with your measurement that you take you're gonna take note of that measurement mine was around 15 for my arm so and then choose the multiple that is closest to or greater than your measurement so this time i went with 62 for my sleeves so we're also going to be starting from the bottom where your wrist would be and we're going to go up. What I have here is my front panel and back panel connected together. Yeah. And what I have here 
is my first sleeve and my second sleeve. So I started with 62 chains at the bottom here and then I followed the pattern all the way up till I had this amount. So we're going to put this piece over our head and we're going to lay it out how you would want it to fit. So just like this. Yeah. And when you're creating your sleeves, what you want to do is place it like this, fold it in half. And you see where this ends? It ends a little lower than the top of my shoulder. So depending on where yours ends, you're going to hold it up to your work just like this to see where it would end on your wrist. So you continue creating rows until you reach your desired length. And I would suggest to put this on just to make sure you got the right length. Because sometimes it could be too short, sometimes it could be too long. If you don't accommodate for this little length that you have here from your front and back piece. Yeah? Now once you've finished your sleeves, you're going to take one sleeve first. And you're going you're gonna to fold it just like this. And I did not cut my yarn because I was going to slip stitch using that same yarn all along to connect these two pieces together. We're going to slip stitch all the way to the end, connecting these two pieces together. Okay, just like before. So you hold it up, grab the stitches and connect them together just like before. And I'll meet you back once I've finished my two sleeves. And then we connect the sleeves to the front and back piece. Okay, so I've just finished the two sleeves. I just um, slip stitch all along this edge and all along this edge. So now what we're going to do is lay everything out. We still have to connect this piece and these two sleeves together. So the front and the back so to do so lay it out just like this and make sure that your slip stitches are on the outside this is the back the wrong side now lay everything out on the wrong side and your right side will be inside so now what we're gonna do is get your stitch markers and we're gonna look at our work once laid out like this so we're going to have to connect here all along this edge on this side and on this side. So to do so, you're going to take your stitch markers and place a stitch marker in the top right here of your sleeve at the corner. Make sure it's even and then put one to connect it onto the front and back. Just like that. Now get another stitch marker and place it on the middle here again on the sleeve right at the edge and I think I'm gonna connect it maybe around here. I suggest not to connect it too far up like this because that's not giving enough space for your arm to go through so make sure to leave enough space so I'm going to go somewhere down here to give it enough space. Make sure it's even connected on both sides, the back and the front. Same for here. And do the same thing on the other side. Make sure everything's even. I'm going to place one more in the middle somewhere here. So I'm going to place one here and here. So this is just connected to the front panel alone, not the back. And same thing for this side. Oh, make sure it's even. And now turn it around. And place one more at the back here. At the same exact spot. On this piece, connecting these two together. Just like that. As I said before, you make sure everything is on the wrong side and the wrong side is where your slip stitches are facing so these are my slip stitches here and on the inside would be the right side 
so the slip stitches are not shown on the inside so this is the wrong side wrong side of my sleeves with the slip stitches all along here slip stitches all along here turn it back around and also I want you to make sure that your sleeves are facing this way so for example your your starting chain is at the bottom here and we worked up so same for the sleeves the sleeves the starting chain would be placed where your wrists are and then we worked up so that when we wear it and it goes down like this on our arms the leaf stitches would be facing up just like how the leaf stitches are facing up on our front and back panel so it matches and if you want you can add more stitch markers one hair one hair one hair and one hair so just so that it can make it easier for you to um, slip stitch evenly okay so we're gonna start our slip stitches from the armpit area and then go up on the front side all the way up and then to the back all the way back down to the armpit and then once we reach here we're gonna connect we're gonna connect these two pieces together by slip stitching all the way down to the end and same thing for this side and I'll meet you back once I'm finished I just finished slip stitching all around I put it back on the front side so that the slip stitches are not visible because that's the wrong side on the inside so what we're gonna do now is create a little collar just a few more rows around this area just to make it look more finished okay so let's get into it okay so I have my neckline right here yeah and we're gonna start to make some half double crochets so I'm gonna chain two this counts as a half double crochet I'm going to take this yarn and just hold it hold it here so that I can crochet around it and cover that um, end one time so we're gonna do a simple half double crochet stitch all around the neckline so I'm putting two half double crochets into the side of one stitch and then in the middle of these two stitches I'm gonna go into this stitch and put one half double crochet just like that and then into this side I'm gonna put two all around that whole stitch just so that everything is even and now I go into the middle which is around here and now I go two times into the side around the side and we are going to make half double crochets all the way around until we reach back to where we started so you're going to continue all the way around back to the edge and in these top stitches here we just make a stitch into each one of these stitches since it's not the side of the stitches we're working into and when we reach at the bottom here too we just work into these stitches and just try to make it as even as possible since there's no side so this is where the sides of the stitches end up and then we work into these stitches like normal okay so I went all the way around and I reach back to the start here I just finished my last half double crochet and now I'm going to slip stitch into this space right after the chain two. So now we're going to chain two and this chain two counts as a back post double crochet. So we're going to leave it just like that. And now we're going to yarn over and we're going to make a front post double crochet. And to make a front post double crochet, you push your yarn through the space not into this stitch like how you would normally go into the stitch we're not going to do that we're going to go around the stitch so we're going to go under and then back in through the around the stitch grab your loop 
and then make a half double crochet just like that and now we're going to do a back post double crochet and this is just the opposite so we go from the back and then over that stitch through and now we grab and half double crochet now we're going to do a front post double crochet around the next stitch so essentially we're just doing one front post and then one back post double crochet so now as we did our front post we're going to do back post so go from the back around the stitch half double crochet now front post go from the front around the stitch just like this and we're going to continue just like this all the way until we reach the beginning of this second row okay i just reached back to the start of the row i just did a back post half double crochet around this stitch and this one is a front post double crochet this one here is a front post double crochet as well and this one is supposed to be a back post so we're gonna have to fit in a front post double crochet here because we just did a back post now we're gonna go fit a front post half double crochet here in the middle if you ended with your last stitch being a front post half double crochet all you have to do is slip stitch into this space and this will be your back post half double crochet in between the two front post half double crochets so what i'm going to do because i do i did not end in with a half a front post half double crochet so now i'm going to go around this stitch right here and make a front post half double crochet and now this one is a back post so I'm gonna go right here and just slip stitch just like that chain two this counts as a half a back post half double crochet so I'm gonna go around this front post double crochet and make another front post double crochet and around the back post half double crochet you make a back post half double crochet just like that around the front post make a front post on top of your front post and a back post on top of a back post so you continue just like this all the way around and and i would finish off here because i don't want my line to be too thick but if you want it to be a little thicker then you can go ahead and make more rows so continue until we reach the end slip stitch into the beginning of the row and that's it weave in all your ends and you just finished your seedling sweater. Here's a little close up 